Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Skulk, bringing you more Nico Koro. It just was so charming that I just had to play some more. <laughs> so, here we go. Uh, I'll just continue because I only have one save file. Alright! Rose! Thankfully, I still had several plates left. All right, it's not a big deal. Just, just one broken plate. Yeah, this had better be the last time this kind of thing happens. After all that, I just made a regular. I made. I just made regular sandwiches with cheese and ham. Well, for me, I probably something else, of course. I slowly uh, started to think that it was not a dream at all. After they cleaned the kitchen, there was no sign of it ever being dirty. Wow, efficient. To be honest, it was even cleaner than it usually was. Nice. It was as if nothing had happened. Magic. No, just efficiency. Hey, Iris. How do you build that machine of yours? Hold on, the music is kind of magically risen in volume. I love the music, it's very, it's very charming, but still. Do you need anything special? Actually, no. It merely requires common earth materials. Well, if that was the case, then why are we just teleporting all over the place? But. You do know that nuclear reactors are not something a normal citizen would have. <laughs> You're using nuclear power? Useless. Do you have any scrap metal or magnets in your basement? Like old electronics or bicycles? Yes, exactly. You got really... Okay, yeah. Well, yeah, it's... Is that all you need? With your permission, I would like those parts in order to build the gate. Permission granted. Wanted to throw them out anyway, but I always forgot about them and kept bringing down more and more junk. I'm really thankful for this. You're welcome. Those electronics you mentioned. Yes? How advanced are they? Well, I mean, pretty good, I'm pretty sure. Mm, nothing special today, really. The PC you'll find in the basement is a piece of trash now. But it was one of the most powerful computers available for customers a few weeks back. Uh, a few years back. Weeks, yeah. It was, it was the top of its game just a few weeks ago, but then they came out with something new. Our techno uh, technological abilities are progressing rapidly. Can you show me how the uh, computation machines of yours works? Sure thing. So this is how you open appliances. This is a calculator, wor uh, word processor, spreadsheet creator. I showed her the basics of using a computer. Oh, I see, I see. She understood it very quickly. Well, knowing that she knows technology, um, most likely she'll pick up on things pretty quickly. Oh, well, you know, that's not always true. I mean, if she knows technology from her world, doesn't mean that everything that we have, she'll automatically pick up like that. We can have our own methods. Even if it's not as advanced as our technology, it's still pretty impressive to me. And what are those? Oh, I try to make visual novels in my free time. Visual novels? You know, manga. <laughs> or, you know... No, no. Yeah, pic books, with work, uh, books with pictures. A type of computer game. Ap uh, application for entertainment. That uh, Does that make sense? Oh, I think I understand. And here? One of the biggest inventions of humanity. The internet. It really is big. I mean, 
Can you imagine uh, if you'd never use the internet to look up videos or information uh, from anything? You had to go to a library and pick up a book that someone wrote about their uh, and uh, I mean, it's just... The internet is pretty much books, but at the click of a button, you just have to know what to type and where to go. And then, of course, you have entertainment. Instead of just movies and radio that you had back uh, previous to that, now you have movies that you can, instead of just go from video uh, things, you watch Markiplier! <laughs> <laughs> or whoever else you watch. Complex networks of servers spread all over the world. It has almost everything everyone... Uh, everyone <laughs> it has almost everything everyone ever created. This is how you access the website. I proceeded to show them magic the internet. Are you trying to tell me that you have all the knowledge within reach, and all you use it for is to look at funny images? I mean, yeah, I mean, some people just care for entertainment. Some people are just entertain, uh, are, uh, looking for information on how to create, how, like, recipes for cooking. I, God, I got my button to gear on that. You hear me? You hear me, me? Me wants to create good foods. But yeah, <laughs> funny images. It's just entertaining, funny. <laughs> Iris said with a bit of disappointment in her voice. <clears throat> Not only that, I also watch funny videos. Whoa! Like this, uh, it's like magic. <laughs> And we continued watching many different things on the web. We'll have to go to a real movie theater one day. If they react like this to videos on the computer, their reaction in the cinema would be speed no priceless. This is so fun. Girls, enough internet for today. But it's so cool. Hey, don't get excited. Hey Mark? Yeah? Can I use your computer from time to time? I want to show you how to handle it first, so it doesn't happen like what happened to my kitchen just a bit ago. You know, I don't have anything to do. There's plenty to do, but in the meantime, yeah, I wouldn't mind. As long as you're respectful of it, and don't break anything or download things and go to sites you probably shouldn't. Alright, just... Just, just be careful. Don't worry, I'll take care of her. Wait, Iris, are you the only uh, one building the machine? Unfortunately, yes. And it looks like I'll have to acquire a few parts later. Parts? From what I read on the website, your technology can't handle too many operations at once. I mean, there's some supercomputers, but we don't have that. <laughs> Not me, anyways. It's not easy to calculate some specific parameters. Thankfully, your programming languages uh, look similar to what I'm used to. What about energy? Uh, uh, what about an energy source? You know, I don't want my electricity bill to go up just for this. Oh, don't worry. I'll build my own. It's no big deal. Anyway, thank you very much for your assistance. I'll get to work right away. After saying that, I was headed to the basement. It was a bit- I was a bit nervous leaving them alone while I went to the grocery store, but thankfully, nothing happened. Drastically, anyways. Iris ended up spending most of the time in the basement, coming out only to eat. The girls were, again, amazed by what I made for dinner. Simple mac and cheese. I mean, uh, this is why I want to learn some better recipes, because I- I hope to be a husband someday, or at least a good boyfriend, and hopefully leads to the husband. But I want to be impressive on what I make. Not just the American casual way of going to the store, grabbing a can of this, a box of that, splish and splash it together, and then voila, basic dinner. I mean, it's nice to have a nice, casual, uh, simple thing every once in a while. But I want to, I want to feel like I created something and then I'd be proud of it while I savor it. Mmm. Honestly, if I don't know any better, I would say it was overly dramatic. Lily started reading the books I kept on the shelves. And Rose? Well, I couldn't get her off the computer. 
Was my life really going to look like this for the next few weeks? The following days flew by quite quickly. Probably because I spent most of my time at the university. And I didn't even notice it, but before I knew it, Thursday had come. Nothing out of the ordinary was happening. The girls were cleaning the house while I was out. Well, that's nice. I forbid them to touch any cooking utensils. Well, that's not very nice. Just make sure to, you know, show them how to use them. Because if they don't have the skill of it, then do the best you can with it. Do the best you can by showing them, teaching. Because the best thing, one of the best things you can teach someone is skills, knowledge. At least until they learn how to use them. There you go. Maybe I should have clicked first, but, you know, I had to, I had to save my few cents. I had an exam the next day, so it was the last night to prepare. Of course, I'd been studying for some time, too. So when I take this, I don't get it. I don't. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't understand it at all. I started crying out loud. Oh, he's speaking about his test. <laughs> Looks like you're in trouble. Look who's talking. But yeah, I have an exam tomorrow. What subject? Math. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty decent at math. Not into deep algebra because that stuff gets quite confusing. And a lot of it to me feels like in very rare occasions would you use some of it. At least to my knowledge. But I doubt you'd be using these kind of equations. Nothing comes to mind at the moment. But when I was doing the algebra book, I was going, What am I ever going to use this? But I'm pretty good at math. Um, at least the common math. Fractions, decimals, um, no, sorry, percentage, no, percentages, this point, that, you know, point something, I, I don't know, just parts of numbers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, stuff like that. Anyways, <laughs> why am I talking so much about that? Yeah, I guess it's just for you to get to know me a bit more and my thoughts. Hmm. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. That's quick math. Yeah, I'm, I'm in university. It's a lot deeper. So, which part of it do you, don't you understand? Integral... Uh, in, integra, integrals and derivi, derivative, derivatives. Huh? Really? Those are so easy, though. You should be ashamed. When they said she's um, beautiful and, um, uh, well, maybe the word dumb or something like that, she's more like insensitive <laughs> or direct. Insensitive and direct. <laughs> Probably the lack of tact, let's say. Yeah, sorry that I'm hu my human brain has limited capabilities. Actually, Rose, uh, try to solve this equation. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 26. Huh? How? That is... That's correct. Of course it is. I'm very intelligent. Oh, oh look. It's... Uh, oh, look at the time. I, I have to go. <laughs> Wait a moment. How about this one? I already pooped that I know it. So solving another one won't be an issue, right? Uh, um, the answer is... 12? That's not even close to being correct. Rose, the first one was just pure luck, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Alright, sit here and learn together with Mark. But sister... No buts. These are just basic maths you need to know. Basic maths! I know basic maths! This is absurd! <laughs> now come on. If these are basics for you... I'm afraid to ask what's advanced. 
quantum equations in n-dimensional ma uh, matrices. The what? <laughs> mm, actually, that's not even that hard. For me, at least. That's right. My sister's a genius. Well, one of them is. What are you doing? Lily, don't distract them. They're learning. I'll be quiet. So, Lily, can you solve this equation? Hmm. Um. I'm not sure, but 26? That is correct. And this? Um. Let me think. 54 and 1936? Um... Let's see. Rose? You still have much to learn. <sighs> why... Why didn't get a smart brain the genetic lottery? Why didn't get a smart brain in the genetic lottery? Well, at least I'm beautiful. <laughs> Iris smacked Rose with the math book. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Rose is a big dummy. Stop doing that. If I were there wording this, I'd be, I'd be like, please don't call her that. I mean, just because she doesn't know something doesn't mean you should call her that. It's just degrading and rude. Smack! Ouch! Why? <clears throat> Sorry. Retake. Ouch! Why? Don't laugh at her. Um, can I go back to studying? I'm sorry. Here, let me help you. <laughs> at least I'm beautiful. Speck! <laughs> Just... <laughs> what? Yeah, my sister's an idiot. Smack! <laughs> Why? Don't be mean. <laughs> Ow, what did I do? Stop smacking people! <laughs> As I smack you. Um, I didn't put myself in a good position there. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> After receiving help from Iris, I flew through the exam with confidence. Nice. That day was a crucial festival uh, festival at the university. So it was announced that classes would end early in order to let everyone attend the event. Oh, excuse me. I wasn't interested in it, to be honest. Since the ta- uh, Burps, stop it. Since the test was quick and my next class were called off, I went home a few hours earlier than usual. And I saw something I did not expect. Oh! Um... Hi! I stood there speechless. I wouldn't be, I'd just be saying, Oh, hello! Uh, new clothes? Or, uh, those are towels. Depending. Um... Uh... <laughs> okay. Oh, hi Mark! Get out, get out, get out! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't see anything. I did as she uh, said and turned back towards the doors. Wait just a second. This is my house! Why are you in bath towels in the first place? I hope you don't mind that we used your washing machine. And then it hit me. Now that you mention it, you don't have any spare clothes, do you? This whole time, I thought of this in the in the first episode. I, I know this just I know this isn't a very long game, but eh. regardless, I still mentioned in the first episode saying, "Well, if you have people that are just moving in, especially uh, just and they don't have a job, 
but you're willing to take care of them for the time being. In their position, a place to sleep, something to eat, clothes to wear, because if they just popped up out of nowhere, they're going to need some extra spare to clothes. I, I mean, I change my clothes out every day. Probably shouldn't need to, maybe, depending on how smelly they become. I'm not saying I wear I, I wear the same thing twice in a row unless it really is not stinky or used too much. I don't really build that area anywhere. Point being, that's something I mentioned. You gotta think about the essentials. Toothbrushes! Holy smoke toothbrushes! I did not mention that in the first place. Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> nope. We didn't expect you to come this early. I, I thought they'd get washed and dried before you returned. I assumed there was a possibility that you might come a bit earlier, but not that much earlier. Oh, it looks like I miscalculated. No, 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 it's all my fault. I that I want to come back home and then just say, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm home early and that's it. That's all I thought and I was, and I did not, I'm both okay, sorry. I'll have to take a wider margin of error into account next time, I think. She even calculated this? That's pretty incredible, even if she was off. Okay, then I guess I'll need to do some shopping later. I wonder if I even have enough money to buy them clothes. That is a, that's the thing. As I mentioned, and I'll make this one quick so we can get back into the game. I know I'm talking a lot, but it's just... This is my channel, my show, my video, I, my opinions! So uh, thank you for bearing through it. <laughs> but you do have to calculate how much uh, spare money you have. So, as I said, spare money that you would normally save up to get yourself um, food, new furniture, or fix some, uh, replace something that's broken, for repairs, something like that. After bills and food, you got spare money. But we have guests that are from out of town that are going to be stopping by, you gotta think about them too. And the spare food? Yeah, three extra mouths. Three extra mouths! That's a decent bit more food that you have to think about. And hopefully you don't have to go cheap on everything to make things cheap meals. But, point it, uh, you know, healthy foods. Apples, bananas, uh, salads, and... I know those are basic vegetarian, vegan meals, but... You know, at least some essential health foods. Um, but yeah, essential such as clothes, toothbrush, um... Yeah, just balance out how much money you can spend. <sighs> yep. In the meantime, take some of my clothes. They might be a uh, bit too large for you, though. It, it, had, it had been a month since the girls started living with me. I went back to my family from outside the city that weekend. Of course, I couldn't tell anyone about my new roommates. I decided to entrust Iris with my credit card for small grocery shopping. I told you to turn it off before pulling it out. Uh, um. Jeez, I can't leave you two alone for five minutes. I'm back. Crap! Iris! Buy some time! Oh, nice clothes. Oh, is that a shirt for a belt? Oh, hi, Mark. I really should have actually put my name in here. I'll, I'll probably do that from now on. Hi, Iris. Did something happen while I was gone? N -n no, nothing at all. Iris stuttering. Something has definitely just happened. Um, may I enter? What? What are you doing? All right, no, 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 I, that's it. This is my house, my stuff. I want to know exactly what. I'm not going to get mad. At least shouldn't, but I'm not going to get mad. What is it? I want to know. I'm not the mad kind of person, just to let you know. Oh, uh, don't you need to go to the toilet? No. Nope, I just want to enter the room. Maybe I'll go to the shop? Not happening. Having had enough of those games, I gently pushed aside her side. Sorry, sisters. I tried. When I entered the kitchen... 
Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, it didn't work! If only you did what I told you! Quickly, let's find some clo- <clears throat> Uh-oh... I... we... Both the girls had- and almost the entire kitchen were covered in... Cake batter? That's not cake batter, that's... That's the toast and that's the eggs. Well, I guess eggs are in there, but bread? Stay calm, of course. That's the kind of person I am. All right. Deep breaths. For me, I'm just too calm. There's not much that can actually get me angry now. I can actually mention this in a quickie, hopefully. I'll do this in a quickie. So, something that taught me to um, become more of a calm spirit kind of person is from a dream I had, the events that happened inside of it caused me to realize being angry, especially over the small things, is not worth it. You can still get angry, I mean, feel angry, but how you present it. And the thing is, I was going, I woke up with that dream going, no, that can't be, no. I'm, I'm glad that was just a dream, but I'm learning that lesson. In detail, I was in a costume, I was in Halloween, family, um, uh, just, you know what? I'm just gonna start from the beginning. Uh, let's turn off the music just for a moment. So, the thing is, the reason why I'm so calm is from a dream I had. It started as this. I was dressed in a costume with a prop, pole, some, I don't remember what the costume was, but I had a pole. Uh, my family was going out trick-or-treating, and a girl I liked was there. Imaginary, just in the dream, because I'm hoping one day to be with someone. So those kind of dreams will eventually come and uh, every, come every once in a while. So we were gonna go trick or treating. I was happy that the girl was uh, that I liked was gonna be uh, joining us. One of my sisters uh, wanted to see my prop. Uh, sure, she touched it. She just grabbed it and touched it. It broke, and I blurted out rage at her. After that, I looked over the girl I liked. And she looked afraid at me. She was afraid of me and ran off. I woke up. I mean, what did I just do? I thought about it. It was an accident. It was something small. It was a prop. And it wasn't her intention. I went back to sleep with the dream still intact. Apologized to my sister. Went after the girl I liked. And apologized to her and said, I would never wish to do that ever again. That's not who I want to be. I woke up thinking, I'm glad that was just a dream. I'm glad I learned that lesson. A week later, another one of my sisters, this is actual, not a dream. She, my mother was saving cheese for a certain meal and asked him for no one to touch it. One of my sisters grabbed the cheese and I put it in my own hands to ask her to return it. It's already in her hands, but the thing is I still made it an, int an intention to get it back. She kept saying no. And this is, of course, when she was much younger, so. But I kept, again, every time I asked her to give it back, I get more and more angry and kept getting more and more uh, loud and booming and terrifying in my voice. And I'm not really strong, but I'm stronger than her. But the point is, I just kept getting more intimidating until she was curled up in the, in the corner of a seat, tearing up after one last boom of voice of saying, give me the cheese. She finally opened her hand, and since she was afraid, she was clen clenching it. It was a sm it was just mangled in her hand. I grabbed it and said, thank you, going, finally. I looked at it, and I, we're not, not, no one wants this. So I threw it away and thought, the dream, it came true. The cheese was so small. It was such a small piece of cheese, and I destroyed her in fear intimidation. I started crying in a room. She came in the room later that day, saw me, went, why are you crying? I looked at her and said, and told her about the dream and told her I'm so sorry. Since that day, it got less and less until none. I, did, 
I just never want, I'm just so calm. And if I ever get upset, I want to make sure that I word it level-headedly and make sure I get my point across. And if it doesn't, and just so it doesn't escalate, if their side isn't gonna bend and I'm not bending because everyone has their opinions, regardless, I'm just gonna go, it's, it's not going anywhere, Never mind. I'm not gonna, I may, be, I may get frustrated and angry at that, but no, I'm not gonna escalate to get angry at someone. Not like that. Because what's the point? You just destroy someone that way. Or get yourself into trouble, depending on what your position is to who. But if something went like that, I'm thinking, that's one heck of a mess, and a lot of ingredients. Gosh dang it. I'd probably be more in a stressful mood, uh, uh, mode if, uh, mood, if that was a lot of the ingredients that we have for food. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Okay, can you explain how this happened? We, we wanted to thank you for letting us live here. I wanted to bake a cake for you. But then we messed up with the mixer and... This is it. Well, at least they had good intentions. So how could I get mad at them? Eh, uh, okay. But I'm not going to clean this, alright? I joined them. I joined the help cleaning. The mess you made is the mess you clean, after all. In my words, I'd say, well, you know, let me help you clean this, then. That would be the words I'd use. Then me neither. <laughs> we understand. It was a Friday. I didn't feel like cooking anything, so I decided to order pizza. The person who delivered our food was a young girl. You know what? Let's save here. Sure, yeah? Yeah, I don't need to have it back up. So. I'm gonna continue playing this, but uh, in another recording. But I feel like this video is long enough. So I'm glad that I got to say my my story, my event uh, that happening in my life. Lesson, lesson learned to share with you guys. I hope it helps uh, helps you guys in any way possible. But that's the kind of personality I am: being a kind-hearted, helpful and non-explosive anger kind of person. I want to be calm-headed and, you know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Until I see you guys again, have a great day, everyone.